You could use a calculator on this question if you really wanted to, but I think it's going to waste time. This is just pure plug points into equations, plug points into equations, in a way that kind of resembles guess and check, right? Because what they're giving us here are a bunch of x coordinates. I know they say a, but right, it's the x, right? It's what goes in that kind of parentheses. And then we want to get out a y coordinate of 10. So I would just guess and check with these. You could solve as well. I'll, I could show you that at the end, but I would just guess and check. So uh, uh, this would be 5 plus 15 over 5, that's 20 over 5, that's 4, way too low. So I might jump ahead <clears throat> to 35. 35 plus 15 over 5, uh, that's uh, 40. 50 over 5 is 10. There's nothing else to go on. We don't need to check the other choices here because it's not like there's other points to check. There was just this one, so C is the answer. Again, if you wanted to do this algebraically, you could because 10 is going to go in place of the f of x. So you could do 10 is equal to x plus 15 over 5. You would solve this by first multiplying both sides by 5 to get rid of the fraction. So that's 50 is equal to x plus 15. Then subtract 15 from both sides and you are left with x equals 35. Maybe that's faster for you. I just think given the choice between doing arithmetic, which is kind of what I was doing up here, this is arithmetic, there's no moving of a variable or anything, any number across an equals, right? It's always on one side of the equals versus this here is algebra. Just naturally, algebra is usually harder because it kind of involves some weirder steps. So if I'm trying to get the highest score possible, I'm always taking uh, uh, steps and, and taking paths through a question that reduce the chance of making a mistake. And uh, it may be the difference between like a 3% chance of a mistake and a 1% chance, but over the course of the test that, that adds up. So try to think about that as you start on questions, what is going to be the easiest, smoothest thing for you to do so that you don't lose points on careless algebra.